What's going on, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, this video, I just kind of want to go through uh, my trades today at um, November 11. I mean, I'm done trading for the day. I could have been done sooner, but I, I mean, I got a little bit greedy. And you guys know, don't be a greedy savage. But um, yeah, I did break my own rules today and give back a little bit of my profit, which is not always good. So, we um, actually traded um, the stocks here. So these are trades of the day. Uh, that's what I traded. So I just created a, play a playlist and put the stocks in there. So the first one, uh, my my biggest winner today was this, this stock right here, which I made about $336 um, on it. So if you can see, uh, pre-market, it started looking really good. So it's, it's, okay, it's pre-market trade right here. See how... It crosses VWAP here um, and then just rip like crazy all the way to 2678 um, and then pull back um, all the way. So during this pullback, so I this is this is a spot where I traded this particular stock. So um, I got in here at about 20, I think my entry point was like 22, 20, uh, 23. It ripped all the way to 26 up there. So made some good profit on there and then the market opened. It just completely kind of, you know, did a force break and then pulled back like really, really hard. So if somebody was anticipating that it was going to rip as soon as the market opens, um, they were up for a really, really bad treat. So look at that pull back all the way to $16. So when it did pull back to $16, um, I was, I think I kept thinking like, oh, this is the, the daily, uh, the top gapper for the day. Um, so at 16, that would have been a good point to trade it again. But um, I usually don't want to trade underneath the fee wap because um, you don't know if that's the the bottom. Because we look at this, if that's this um, this support. So let's see right here, 16 dollars and some change. Um, you came down here. Uh, it came down to 19. So see that support there at 16. See here at 19. So I wasn't really sure. Um, what the support was because this is a this is a stock that gap. So if you see, um, this was yesterday after hours. It just went, this thing went from about five dollars and some change all the way to twenty four dollars. So when you see that as even as high as twenty uh, twenty six seventy eight. So these stocks, these gappers, you you have to be really careful when you trade them because um, they they don't really have an established um, uh, support that you can actually use, and that's why they they call them momentum trading. So when they're moving, you jump in, take your profit, and move out uh, as soon as possible. So yeah, so see this would have been a really good place to trade. So from sixteen sixty to uh, almost twenty one dollars. I mean, I I didn't trade it so. Uh, but this is one of the trades that I did. Again, I traded this one uh, pre-market, so right there. Then the next one that I did trade was uh, RKT. So again, I traded RKT pre-market. Uh, so this is, uh, so when I, oops, I don't know where that came from. So when I was actually looking at this in that early in the morning, because the RKT, the earnings call came out yesterday, and if you can, let's see if I can zoom back in here so you see what happened after the earnings call. So this is after market, the gray area, if you can see this. Um, so you can actually enable these on your chart to, to show these gray areas, the distinguish between market and aftermarket. So the gray area is aftermarket, just so you guys know. Uh, but as soon as the, the, the earnings report came out, it ripped all the way to 2260. And then look at that flush. <laughs> Flushed all the way down to 2051 for a low. And then uh, try pulling up again, uh, got some rejection and met resistance all right on the VWAP and then pulled back. Um, and this two candles here, right in the green, you see these two massive candles. These were just like flashy. They weren't, I, I didn't, that's not something that like actually went up. It's just like some flashy uh, uh, move. And usually it's not a, a good thing. So it stayed down there and went through the night, so I got up this morning, I saw it and I so I saw it around 21 and some change. If you see down here, the volume is not really high. Let's see if I can zoom in. So see down here, the volume just above VWAP, the volume started to increase and that's that's what got made me to get in in this particular trade. So I went in here and then look at that squeeze. So I squeeze all the way up to 22.16. And um, I was really patient here because when we when we got up to 21, 
uh, 61. And then this little pool back here, I kept thinking, hey, maybe it's time for me to get out. But I just stayed in there and then held on. Next thing you know, it ripped all the way to 22, um, 16, which is awesome. So I got up here at the top and then look at what happened. Flush and then never looked back again. And so that was a trade and I, I didn't trade it when the market opened. And um, see, it's gone up to 21.49 for a high. As of right now, it's underneath the VWAP, which I'm not going to touch. So I'm done with that particular one. Um, so that one, I think I made 320 on this trade. The next one that came in was uh, IMRN. And um, this is a stock that I've actually traded in the past. So I traded the stock in the past and it made some good money. Um, so today I was actually watching it. So pre-market, um, I didn't do anything. So you can see here, um, nothing really happened. So this is... Uh, Yesterday, look at look at how it actually squeezed up from six dollars all the way to eleven, and then overnight, nothing. It just kept pulling back down, and then uh, the market opened. It just stayed around that VWAP level, which again, you're waiting for it for it, it to break either up or down. So it finally went on the downside. So I kept thinking like maybe this thing is done for the day, and then say so watching again, it crossed VWAP again here. I looked at it. This confirmation wasn't solid enough for me. I, I didn't feel comfortable getting in the trade. Um, and see, it pulled back. And then the next time again, it bounced off of VWAP. This is where I actually saw volume starts to come in. So if you see down here, look at the volume. If I, you guys can see the bottom here, those little dots, those are volume. It shows you how much volume is coming. But see here, um, above VWAP, that volume starts to increase. I told me that uh, this is going to move. So I got in and it popped. And all the way, and I think I got at about nine. Um, I got about nine or six or nine or seven. I didn't wait all the way to the top, nine or six or nine or seven. So that one two hundred and fifteen dollars in profit um, on that trade. And then um, the last, the one of the ones that I did too again was Baba. So this is Alibaba, um, the Chinese uh, regulatory uh, guys actually put out something. Really, some news about regulations in China that actually pulled this, the price of the stock down. And so I knew it was going to bounce back. So this is, um, if you see here, pre-market, it started to pull back all the way down, see how it, it, it gapped up and started pulling back. Then the market opens. Um, this little space right here, I didn't trade it. So it, this bounce off of VWAP, this is where I traded the stock. Um, that one I made about $147. Uh, so those... Those were my key winners for the day. And then um, I traded um, FTEK. And this one, I gave back some money, which um, I really, really was so mad at myself because I kind of deviated away from my own principles. And uh, I could have stopped trading, but I, I saw this and I was like, hey, maybe there's an opportunity here for me to trade. So if you look at this pre-market, it wasn't really that much of an activity. Just underneath VWAP, market opens, it rips, um, just went from 1.2, I mean, at least a dollar, all the way to $2 for a high. I mean, you're talking about if you put in $1,000 in this thing, man, you would be sitting pretty good. So that's why I like this momentum trades because the money comes easy, but you can also lose easily if you don't put your stop loss um, where it's supposed to go. So this is the one that I got in. And I got in a little bit here cocky um, without putting enough of my stop loss. And see that flush right there? Um, it caught me. And by the time I got out, I had given back some of my money. So I gave back all close to about uh, $200 in, in that particular flush, which sucks because I hate giving back profit. So um, yeah, but overall, again, uh, about 700 and. $19 in, in profit for the day. So I can't really complain. Those were my key trades uh, for the day. Again, I missed this one right here because I was trading some other stuff. So that's why I came back, tried trading it again here, thinking it's going to, you know, so this pull back here. So I thought it was going to bounce up and go. It bounced a little bit and just flush like crazy. So I don't like it. Anyways, now, let me know in the comment section um, what you think about this. I, again, I'm trying to uh, put out my daily recaps like this every day. Um, 
if you guys, you know, like this kind of format or like the, the reviews, like if, it, if it's helping you in any shape or form, let me know so I can do them on a daily basis. Otherwise, I can also just uh, get over the, on the week uh, on Fridays and do uh, a recap. But I'm thinking Fridays is not really going to help anybody. It's just me showing what I did throughout the week. Um, but uh, I think daily like this does kind of help. So if you look at these stocks, again, the established companies here that I traded would be uh, Rocket Company and Alibaba. Um, if you look at FTEK, that was that is just a momentum stock that traded. Uh, M I M R N. That's another momentum stock that traded. So again, you look at um, the daily uh, gappers on the Weibo platform, which I've done videos here on the channel. That's what I use. So let me know again in the comment section if you do have any specific questions regarding my my trades or my strategy. Um, yeah, again, with momentum, you don't really have to go in depth as to uh, really identifying support and resistance because it moves so quick. Uh, if Yes, by the time you sit there waiting, it's just going to leave you behind. Because if you look at this stock again, we're talking about a stock that started at a dollar and went up to $2. So you're thinking a dollar, what would be your support? What would be your resistance in this particular one? It doesn't, we don't really have that established yet because it's just gapping. And sometimes there's a lot of news that's pushing the stock. So um, the idea is get in, get, take profit, get out, and don't look back. So uh, again, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. And, and if you're also looking to get started, guys, um, Weibo is doing a promotion now that if you, if you actually open your account with them and deposit, hundred dollars you get three free stacks not one not two three just for opening an account and depositing a hundred dollars so links in the description um, it does help me uh, keep making content like this when you use my link because I get a free stock as well so uh, let me know again if you do have any question and as always guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated <laughs>